We rush up towards the uh, Sandy Boat Corner. I lock up here under brake in the front, run round the first gig. Hey guys, JG Gravity RC here. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to talk about what is mixing on your transmitter. I have uh, been wondering for a while now as to what mixing is in relation to transmitter and why do we need it. Um, I'm going to say right at the outset that with quadcopters, you don't really need mixing. All you need is just export and rates. That's all you need. Because once you go acro, everything is free, free form. You can do whatever you like with the sticks and you can move the quad around. And, and also the quad is pre-programmed by its flight control board as to how it's supposed to respond if you push up throttle, if you go left right on the rudder or you go up on the elevator or left right on the yellow rung it will the models will respond accordingly and it will turn left right and pitch forward and backward and go up or down so that has been pre-programmed so that's why in a normal setup you have the flight control board here and then you have the motors and it's connected to all the models so this is all pre-programmed, otherwise the quad would not be able to lift up and move around. If you don't have this flight control board here, and you have all these motors like for example servos in a fixed wing uh, or flying wing type of aircraft, and all these are connected directly to the receiver, then you need a lot of mixing on the transmitter, because then you have flaps, that you need to go mix as to how much they move up and down and so that they be able to go forward, backward, left or right. So that's where all the mixing will come from the transmitter and you have to do all the calculations. Whereas for core cutters, it has already done, has been done for you by the flight control board. So you don't really need uh, to, in, to interfere with the uh, throttle, aileron, rudder or elevator because they are supposed to move according to how you uh, input and also in, in order for you to control your quad um, like the way that you want to control you just have to put in export and also uh, the rates that's all so, because in free, in acro mode, it's already manual. So you can control how you're going to move forward, left, right, or back. So, in that sense, you really don't need mixing. And even with a complicated setup like this, I noticed that all these other uh, setup that has been done on the transmitter they're all for other purposes like for example play music this one is to tune PIDs this one is the same thing this is the rates and then volume, OSD and other stuff here and I noticed that with the uh, um, raw pitch and yaw the only mixing that the author did was export and raise that's all in a very complicated setup like this so which means that 
even with complicated setup, you don't really need to mix the throttle, uh, no, no, the pitch, your and raw uh, channels because they're already pre programmed for you. All you need to do is to put in exposed so that it's, it, it controls according to the way that you like it. So, all in all, all you need to do when you set up your transmitter is really make sure that they are all connected and it works you know left right up and down and also set up the rates all these other switches are for other purposes so in that sense you may not need this type of transmitter with so many switches maybe you just need a uh, six channels transmitter and that should be enough for you but and also what you need to consider is maybe the gimbal how you you like them and whether they feel comfortable in your hands or not so that's a side issue so just what what is mixing mixing is basically um, your inputs on the uh, states and then the input goes into the microprocessor in the transmitter and then you tell the microprocessor how you want signals from these states to affect the other states and then this will be mixed together that means it's combined together and it gets processed in the in the microprocessor here and then get transmitted out on you know using the antenna so once it's transmitted up then it goes straight to the receiver and then after the receiver and then it goes into the flight control board and you tell the flight control board what you're supposed to do once you press throttle up and down or left and right so that's basically mixing which is inputs processing your information in the transmitter and outputting it to the receiver with the necessary information then it turns the motors so because the quads have been pre-programmed the, the flight control board has been pre-programmed so that your quad knows how to respond when throttle is pressed or rather or left right pitch forward backwards so you don't really need to mix any of those it's already been done for you all you need to do is just fly and then to have uh, you know control over the flight characteristic as to you know when you lift up how you want it to hover how sensitive it is with the sticks and stuff like that so export and rake steps all you need all the other um, setup here are basically for fine tuning the uh, the quad maybe it, that can be done with the sticks with the switches and then so that this can be sent to the uh, receiver and through the flight control board so that you can tune it it's just like the race formula formula one driver when they tune when they start driving and if it's not responding according to how they want to respond they start pressing buttons so i think that's how it works in a transmitter also if you uh, program it to to be able to fine tune uh, your quad while it's flying the fine tuning is more or less just the weight of the uh, the quad the pid's tuning so this clears up a lot of uh, uh, confusion that i have with mixing so now i can confidently say that i now know that i don't need mixing for throttle rather elevator and aileron uh, if i said that if i want to put export or rates or if i want to uh, do fail safe and throttle hole that's all you need when you're flying quad quarters all these switches dials are all miscellaneous unless you really need them like a race car driver just like my introduction video 
if you just fly normally, you basically don't need all these things. Uh, but if you are in a competitive FPV quad racing, maybe you need to set it up like this. And then so that you can fine tune everything by switch, switching buttons here and there while you're flying or when it's on the ground. So for most of us, we don't really need any processing of the sticks, throttle, aileron, elevator, and um, rudder. All we need to know is we just need to put export and rates and that's it so i hope you guys you know like the information i'm giving you and i hope it clears up a lot of information uh, a lot of confusion for you so until next time happy flying and this is jt gravity rc cheers